Okay, everybody, now we're going to talk about um, the 4431 Healthcare Communities Clinical Lab uh, course. It's set up uh, very similar to your didactic course. I'm just going to hit on some highlights real quick for you. One, the syllabus quiz, just like we did with the didactic course, you'll need to review the syllabus and take this quiz. And then the same information is posted as in your didactic course regarding your important phone numbers you may need this semester, as well as the COVID information. All your content is listed, of course, under content. Let me get that pulled up for you, and we'll talk through a little bit of it. Like I did for your didactic course, uh, with this semester being so unusual, um, I did include a healthcare communities orientation checklist that you can click on that and see what is due in the first few weeks of the class and what I recommend that you take care of um, as this class starts. Let's give this just a minute to load. Uh, just a few things. Of course, review the syllabus, do the respective quiz. Uh, read, sign, and upload the academic misconduct form and clinical confidentiality forms, which are in your syllabus, and put them in the appropriate Dropbox. This part right here, uh, review your schedule and contact your agencies, that is on hold for right now. I lost four sites um, Friday, <laughs> four clinical sites, and I'm working to get students rescheduled into those spots, and I will let you know something as soon as possible. And then I'm going to talk to you about your CAP um, project, too, as we go along through this. Your clinical schedule will hopefully be posted sometime Monday. As I said, I lost uh, four clinical placements Friday, and I'm trying to get those replaced before I post everyone's schedule. Senior 2 calendar, we'll give you the link for that and post it here. Um, I just want to make sure that Dr. Hurley doesn't have any last minute additions to it or issues that we need to change. I'm going to do an overview of your SOAP assignment, your teaching education tool, your family assessment, um, what your bioterrorism simulation is. We'll go through that and your CAP as well as your interdisciplinary assignment. This epidemiological case study is going to replace what normally would be your hospital sim, and there will be information on that later in the semester. So um, I'm going to end this video here, and then I will back out and I will um, do a course syllabus uh, review, and then we will look through each individual assignment. So back with you soon.